This video demonstrates switch debouncing in Arduino applications. A simple software technique is used to eliminate switch bouncing. Switch bouncing occurs when we toggle the switch and the contacts will mechanically bounce causing the output to be on off several times. We can reduce switch bouncing by either using a hardware solution or a software solution. A hardware solution would involve using a low pass filter at the output of the switch. This low pass filter will alleviate this high frequency content. In this video, software debouncing is demonstrated where we have a push button connected to a digital pin of the Arduino and whenever we toggle the switch here, a counter variable is updated and the value is displayed on this LCD screen. In this first demonstration, no software debounce is used. And we note that with each switch press, we get several increments of the variable instead of getting a single increment. In this second demonstration, we apply software debouncing and we note that with each key press we get single increment of the variable. The software debouncing method used here applies time delay after each switch press in order to avoid any switch bounces. In this method no delay function is used thus making this technique suitable for time critical applications. If no software debouncing is used and we press the switch then this if statement becomes true and the counter is updated but due to the uh, bouncing effect of the switch the if statement will be executed several times and the counter will be incremented several times as you can see on the LCD display. Here in the code we've added the software uh, debouncing and uh, this if statement now will depend on two conditions the first condition is that the switch is pressed and the second condition is that this boolean variable is uh, set to true and this variable will only be true after some time delay which is achieved by this if statement here. In conclusion, the software debouncing technique presented in this video is suitable for time critical applications which I use in my Arduino stopwatch project. Thank you for watching.